Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, I'm King Nidor and today we're coming from Verbank City where the 7th place Plasma are going up against the 6th place Anastar Galaxy and if the Plasma win they will keep themselves within Elite 4 contention but if the Anastar Galaxy can take the victory they will move themselves into an Elite 4 spot so with that said let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this matchup will it be the Poison types, will it be the Psychic types, let's go! Three. That is right, these are two sides who we could actually see meet again in Victory Road, but we are seeing them right here, right now, as it is Weirdy and Delphox starting out for the Anastar Galaxy. It's Ganga and the Terrastal Draft, a Brute Bonnet starting out for the Verbank Plasma, but first that Intimidate ability of Weirdy is going to take effect, lowering that physical attack of both Brute Bonnet that has that base 127 physical attack and Ganga here on the field, but there is Brute Bonnet who has been embracing this toxic typing it has had this season but it is Delphox with the speed control going for the fire pledge and that would have been super effective on Brute Bonnet but still gets in some great damage as the tail slap from Gengar is going to connect on Weirdy only connecting twice and doing very little damage and this allows Weirdy to respond with the water spout connecting with both poison types for really good damage especially on Gengar but that cursed body ability has been activated that is going to disable Weirdy for the time being but we get the fire fang response from Brute Bonnet which is not very effective on a Delphox who does go for the revelation dance and it goes for Gengar, and Gengar has been eliminated from this match, but not before that Cursed Body ability gets activated yet again, and Gengar looks like it's laughing as it falls off this field, and both Delphox and Weirdia are going to have to struggle as we see Weirdia struggling here, putting Brute Bonnet though into knockout range, who does respond with the Brutal Swing, this will be super effective on both Psychic types, good response there by Brute Bonnet as out comes Venusaur for the Verbank Plasma, and here's is Delphox beginning to struggle on the field as it does get that recoil damage and Venusaur is going to go with the Morning Sun immediately restoring the health that it lost from Delphox there so Delphox was the only one really who came out of that with any damage as Whittier continues to struggle as well also going for Venusaur and Brute Bonnet could go for an elite easy elimination but instead it goes for the Supersonic which is going to leave Delphox confused so regardless it is going to end up having damage done to itself whether it's from the struggle or the confusion Delphox needing to shake off this confusion here it is successful this will allow it to go on the offensive and it does choose Venusaur there as its final target because due to that recoil damage Delphox has been eliminated Venusaur could go for the easy elimination but instead goes for the Noble Roar here on the Witty. it is going to lower that physical attack as well as that special attack but regardless Witty is going to struggle going for Venusaur doing very little damage but that recoil damage is going to take Weedy out and thanks to that double cursed body it is practically a huge play for the Verbank Plasma but Brute Bonnet is going for the Sludge Wave it is actually going to damage Venusaur and it puts its own teammate into knockout range what was it thinking there? Prograph could capitalize as it comes out and it is joined by Iron Valiant the Anastar Galaxy's own Terrastal Draft they saw it working so well for the Plasma they decided they're going to use their own here in this matchup and Iron Valiant has been fantastic as a psychic type, truly embracing its emotional side. And with that speed control, it immediately goes for the Icicle Crash to get the easy elimination with that super effective move of Venusaur following up on what Brute Bonnet just did to its teammate. And that levels the playing field as the Gust from Frigraph is unable to take Brute Bonnet out of this matchup and allows Brute Bonnet to respond with the Razor. Razor Shell, sorry, which does lower that physical defense of Frograph, and as out comes Toxtricity in that low key form for the Plasma, but it is still slower than Iron Valiant, who meets it with the Thunderbolt, which is not very effective, and Toxtricity responds with the Aquatales, focusing on Frograph, getting in some fantastic damage there, as well as Frograph is going to set up the Stealth Rocks on the side of the Verbank Plasma. Those entry hazards are going to be floating around the poison types here as the shore up now from Brute Bonnet. It is intelligently going to restore its health because it was such an easy target here on the field. And Iron Balance does go for the reversal. And this surely would have eliminated Brute Bonnet, although I'm not actually sure even that would have been strong enough as the overheat now from Toxtricity onto Iron Valiant. Fantastic connection, lowering that special attack of Toxtricity in the process. Frograph with the Shell Smash now. It is going to lower its defenses, both physical and special, but it is going to boost that physical special attack 
and its speed here and it does have that 110 base special attack so we'll see if it can capitalize on that since it especially has that speed boost that could become the quickest on the field but Brute Bonnet is going to go for the Electro Web to try and slow it down put in both it and Iron Valiant into Knockout Range, lowering both their speed, Kutok's Tristan F speed control, no Furograph is still the quickest going with the Stomp in Tantric Plant, trying to take out Brute Bonnet, and it is successful with that super effective move, it takes Brute Bonnet out of this matchup, the Anastar Galaxy have just taken the lead. And Iron Valiant follows it up with the Assurance, great connection there, onto Toxtricity as Toxtricity does respond with the Razor Leaf to get the huge play, putting the Burbank Plasma back in front by taking out both Psychic types with the one move. A great response there by Toxtricity as out comes Braviary in its Assyrian form for the Galaxy being joined by the Cantonian Executor. It is going to be the Alolan Monk coming out for the Burbank Plasma. So many variants, but Toxtricity with the speed goes for the Pain Split. Fantastic because it has taken a lot of damage, choosing Braviary as its target for there. As Braviary does respond with the Sing, it is going to put Toxtricity to sleep, so Muck is going to have to be doing the work by itself, but it does have that part dark typing that it can capitalize on, also making it immune to Psychic type moves. As we get the Lash out now from Executor on the Sleeping Toxtricity, Muck though is going to go with the Skitter Smack. This is going to be super effective, and it does massive damage, putting Executor into Knockout Range as well as lowering its special attack, but Toxtricity is still fast asleep here on the field make it an easy target as Braviary goes for the thunder punch instead onto muck and executor is going to follow it up with the string shot to lower the speed of both muck and toxtricity it's not as relevant for muck already being the slowest on the field but having that speed of toxtricity low could be great for the galaxy as muck is going to go for the night slash to finish off executor Braviary is all by itself it has three poison types to contend with and it immediately goes with the cow tower cleave onto toxtricity not enough still though but toxtricity is still fast asleep on the field no idea what is going on as muck is going to go for the mud shot but unfortunately that will not work because bravery is a part flying type so it is immune to ground type moves allowing bravery to go for the hydro steam onto muck getting in good connection there but not enough still as toxicity still snoozing away as muck and bravery are going back and forth and muck goes with the energy ball on to bravery very little damage being done with that not very effective move but it does all the special defense of bravery who does respond with the block on to muck not going on the offensive instead making it so it can no longer escape but muck is not looking to go anywhere as toxicity has awoken and immediately goes for the barb barrage to put Bravery into knockout range and Muck follows it up with the Esper Wing and the 1 2 combination gets the elimination, even with that not very effective move to get the Verbeck Plasma the victory over the Anastar Galaxy in a fantastic showing. They were able to run away with it here in the end, and this will move them up into fifth place, one place out of an Elite Four position as next round they will be going up against the Sutopolis Aqua. Whereas for the Psychic types, they have dropped down to 7th and next round, they will be going up against the Medali Aethers. But until then, Nidori knows. Nidori knows. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.